Hello everyone. So the answer to the previous question was 0 0.015. I had already told you how to find probable error. Let's move on to today's question. It says when average tax rate is 1 by 3, marginal tax rate is 1 by 5, what type of tax is this? So, so understand that average tax rate is tax rate by income. Marginal tax rate is change in tax rate when in, change in taxes when income changes, right? How much extra tax am I able to collect when there is increase in income of the consumer? Now, <clears throat> now there is a relationship between the two. And I am going to give you the three relationships that we have here. So in this case, the relationship is that when ATR is greater than MTR, it is called a regressive tax. You can refer to the book. I think so it is in Musgrave and Musgrave. I don't remember whether it is in this or the um, or the, uh, the other public eco book, which is um, Colin. Uh, uh, one of the one of the these two books have have these uh, has this chapter. OK, so when ATR is greater than MDR, it's a regressive tax. When uh, ATR is less than MDR, it is proportional and when ATR not less than equal to and when ATR is less than MTR it is progressive let me just show you this so when MTR is greater than ATR this is how my tax rate is and this is progressive right proportional is when ATR and MTR are equal right regressive is when MTR is less than ATR, right? Regressive is when MTR is less than ATR. In this case, we are given that ATR is 1 by 3, so 0 0.33, and MTR is 0 0.20. So we understand that MTR is less than ATR, right? So it is a regressive tax. It's a regressive tax, okay? There is another kind of tax which is called digressive tax. It increases for a while, but then it becomes constant after a certain level of income. Okay. Now I have a question for you. It says, P is invested for T years at an interest rate R with continuous compounding. So you have to understand that the compound rate is continuous. That means it's an exponential growth rate. On the value A, so just understand this thing, what is happening? It is asking you to find the amount such that the principal P when invested for T years exponentially gives you back the amount A. So I leave it up to you. Just try this question and post the answer in the comment section. Okay, thank you.